has kind of been described as a return to the basics or back to the basics. Right. What does that really mean? What's different about this album than your previous ones? Well, I, I mean, I think for me, I, I'm so deeply in love with, with all the records I've gotten to do and, and only because I, they, I feel like they're parts, they're parts of me and they tell the story of, of what life looks like for me and, and how God kind of winds all that together so beautifully. I think what sort of set this one apart for me, and, and a friend of mine said that the drummer on the record, I sent him off a couple of tracks to play drums on, and he sent them back and he said, man, these are grown-up songs. And I was like, what do you mean grown-up songs? He's like, they're real-life grown-up songs. And I think it was the first time where I feel like I made a record as a, as a grown man somehow. You know, I've, I've always, and that's not to say that it's going to be some profound thing for anybody who might hear it, but I just felt very much like these are real life circumstances, people dealing with very difficult, broken marriages, people dealing with um, very beautiful uh, experiences with having children for the first time. And, and all of those things aren't necessarily specific songs, but they all played into how these songs were written. And so they became very personal to me and very real in a way that, um, that just felt new again to me and very simple. Mm -hmm. It's my understanding that had you made a little bit different of choice, a different choice, we might not be seeing you here. We might be calling you Doctor Bebo. Yeah, Tell me yes. about that. And how frightening is that, Doctor Bebo? Most people that know me know that would be a very, very, very bad, bad thing to happen. But I, um, no, yeah, I studied biology in college, and my entire plan of life was to go to medical school, and so. Got my degree and um, graduated and, and just had some friends who, I had started writing songs in college and I had some friends who really encouraged me to at least see what would happen um, with music and so I kind of reluctantly decided to just see, you know, take a year, I made an independent record and just at the end of that year see what was happening or whatever and, you know, that year has turned into 16 years now so it just kind of, it just kind of took on a life of its own and, and it's honestly one of those things where I think God um, directed it in a, in a very specific way. I call myself an accidental musician, but I, I don't think there are too many accidents on those, uh, on, uh, in the way that God works. So you're happy with your choice? No more aspirations to become a doctor? No, no. I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think there's any way I could go that route. I'm too old at this point, you know. I, I could start over medical school, but I'd be starting to practice like when I was in my 60s or something. <laughs> so, well, if yeah. you get um, tired of the musician thing, I guess you could always go to a hobby of yours, which is restoring classic vehicles. <laughs> Cool. Yes. Tell me about yes. your Bronco. I've, well, I'll say this: I have an old, I have an old 1976 Ford Bronco, which I love, love my Bronco, and um, it's, uh, it's. I just finally got it all restored. I've had it for years and years and years, and it's just kind of my baby, you know. I, I mean, I, I, the, the problem was I started doing it myself about five years ago, and in one weekend I pulled so much stuff out of the Bronco that I could not figure a way to get it back into the Bronco. And so it went into storage for two years and then finally found a guy to restore it for me. And it is, it is all that I ever hoped it would be. It really is. It's fun. It's my, it's my only car. It's what I drive around. And, um, and I just, I absolutely love it. So my kids love it a lot because the top's off and they have a good time. So. Well, thank you. We won't take any more of your time, but it's good no, talking it's to great, you. it's great, great talking to you yeah. too. And I guess you're going to the real I am. I, it's yeah. time. Here we go. So. We actually, we have a 70. Thank you.